Hello, Leo, and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of October 5th through the 11th. And this is a very general reading. Leo. Leo endings. Endings, closures, clo um, transformation things. Something is coming to a quick ending for some. For some, it's just been, you know, it's death and rebirth. And I do feel that be careful of um, things that surround you, um, who's your inner circle, people around you. I do see that energy too. Pay more attention. Um, I do see this energy of everything that's clearing and a new path opening up is going to bring you to a very new beginning and all the way this is like a transitional energy all the way till i think next year till spring okay so i'm seeing that communication is very important too i do see a lot of that kindness but being kind to yourself too and i do see trying to be more tranquil tranquility is very very important as well okay Leo, I see some kind of sadness, okay? I don't know if this is just negative thoughts, you're not not looking positively, or you're just, um, there's a sense of sadness, regrets, remorse. I don't know if there's that kind of energy showing up. Um, for some of you, really, it is dealing with depression, so you have new beginnings coming up. Um, this could be a very fast-moving week or something very significant rushing in. I do see that energy, too. You have to... Uh, trust your intuition, but I also see here that there is wisdom is so important. Um, secrets, maybe some kind of secrets. Are you keeping something behind or is there something? Not everything is in the known here. There are delays. OK, uh, for some of you, you're really kind of isolating yourself too much. OK, it's good. But at the same time, um, you need to be a little bit maybe more social. You're a little bit too um, alone and there could be others worried about you because of that. That's for someone out there. OK. I do see here sudden changes, and this can also be your anger. But for some, you know, this is something that meant to happen, a confrontation, sudden change, something beyond your control. And then it brings some kind of, I don't know, you have luck on your side. You have a clover. So you have luck, um, get together, celebration, okay? You know, it's, you know, not everyone's on the same page here. So I do see people's situations leaving your life. That's okay. Let them go. Um, yeah, you may have some quick endings this week for some of you, or you're feeling hurt by others, something that you just need to let go, but it's the end of a situation. Okay, this is a week that you have to tap into your inner child because I just see that loving yourself, being kind to yourself, I think that's where it's coming mostly is going to heal you. Okay, that comes through very strongly here. Um, I do see here too that you're just feeling trapped. It's an up and down energy. One minute you're okay, one minute in positive, next minute you're not. So try to stay more balanced. A lot of scattered energy here. Um, I do see doing things differently is going to help you. So kind of make some adjustments, but patience is very important. You have a new financial beginning and growth coming through. You may have to make a quick decision this week. Um, you have to trust yourself. It's almost like you don't know what which way to go. That's something there that I'm seeing. And this could be, um, be about a person or maybe about a job or an, um, a financial decision for some of you. Okay. Um, I do see you have to keep moving forward. It's like you've been procrastinating too much. You need to kind of get out there, so to speak, for some of you. So a lot of help out there if you need it. Okay. A lot of sudden changes, quick changes um, can be occurring here. You do have um, closures. There are endings because I see a lot of new beginnings coming through. And Leo, you're really taking back your power, okay? It's like you're stronger than ever. Um, just don't bounce back and forth with these um, unhappy thoughts, um, negative thoughts, doubts, okay? Um, I do see that there for some of you, something could have occurred in... I don't know, maybe a month ago or something and you're dwelling on something for some of you um, or this is just reminiscing the summertime. Um, I do see a reason to celebrate. I do see something. This could be unexpected get together. I don't know, some kind of a party, but I do see that energy. Take breaks because your health and well-being is showing up here. This could be in indicating exhaustion. There will be some good news coming through. And you are, you've got new beginnings now, okay? At least a few areas here, four. I mean, you got a lot of doubts or new beginnings that are trying to open up here. Know that 
any obstacles in your way, they are in your favor. This is um, blessings in disguise. So delays, delays. I do see things may be delayed. I do see also a Leo energy coming through as well. Or you could be very stubborn here too. You have a seven here. So this is really um, re-evaluations, double sevens here. And you have a, a two. Two. So two is making choices, decisions, and balance and taking care of responsibilities and moving forward. But it's like you're feeling opp oppressed, okay? You're feeling oppressed somehow. You have to be more flexible, um, get out of your comfort zone, be flexible in your thinking, your attitude, and in all things at this point in time, okay? Because I do see people are going to come back, uh, you know, or a situation may come in to challenge you somehow. Um, so you have to kind of learn how to bend, okay? That's one thing. And then you kind of dodge the bullet, so to speak, and you'll get through this week. For the rest of you, it's just, maybe it's just, it's just internal. You're just trying to move forward somehow, and it's just a back and forth type of energy, okay? Kind of chaotic, but a lot of new beginnings coming through, okay? All right, um, follow me on Instagram. I post daily birthdays and daily um, pick-a-card readings. Uh, this was a reading for the week of October 5th through the 11th. I hope you have a wonderful week, Leo, and I'll catch you back next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, all the best, and bye for now.